what's up guys welcome back to the channel on today's episode we are going to be at holly mo party and as usual we're going to take you guys along for the ride it's about six o'clock in the morning here and we are sitting outside waiting to get in that's the general parking area there for trailers and what have you pretty cool little roller coaster down there i don't know if you can see it but we're going to take you down and show you that here in a little bit but here's our girl linda new engine with about three miles on it so of course we're going to do the right thing and take it and put her in a burnout competition and hope we don't blow that up but we're sitting here at the beach bend park waiting to get in we're at the participation gate because like i said we're going to put Lynn in the burnout competition and before long this whole road is going to be nothing but a massive line of people trying to get in so we're just kind of chilling out here for a second. We're going to go in, get our credentials, see if I think we're parking up at the Holly tent today. And uh, we'll go from there. So this is Busted Radio Garage. Hang tight and let's get after it. Here's some of the road course cars starting to funnel in. A little bit of everything over there from new to old. They start doing that. We'll get up in the stands and show you all some footage of that. In the meantime, we're going to work our way down here towards like the Dukes of Hazard cars and stuff like that. We'll take you over there to the Holly tent and show you like. Derek's Hemi half and Dylan's cars and uh, there's a bunch of influencers over there show you some of those as usual we'll just take you around with us and show you what's going on here's some of the uh, Dukes of Hazard cars General Lee that's how they got the door all spot welded shut Some of the hazard police cars. These are pretty cool. I actually almost like these more than I do the General Lee itself, to be honest with you. Just say, Snowman's Run. And you got another one over here, same thing doesn't make any less cool I mean there's just cars here everywhere thousands of them got the uh, people mover up in there and they'll drive you around pretty thin in here right now but this is gonna be an absolute madhouse later I'm gonna take you down here to the Holly tent real quick show you some of those cars and we'll just make our way around Here's where we're gonna be doing the burnout competition in a little bit, that and the road course, so on and so forth. And then we'll figure out where the drag racing is going on. We'll take you over there, show you some of that. This is where my wife will end up going, where all the merchandise is. And then you got Holly World, the Holly Tent. I'm gonna take you over here and show you some of those cars. Are you going to go check out that stuff? Power Tour Patrol. There's one of Dylan's cars, another one of Dylan's cars. Got the boom tubes, that's pretty cool. There's 
they're doing a photo shoot right now. Here's Derek's Hemi half. Any of you have been watching that build series on that? Oh, okay. Still a pretty cool wheel choice. You have Transcon made it back. What's that? I'm not sure if it still belongs to Travis or not, but I know he owned one or the original one at one point. Kill uh, Hemi Charger slash truck slash a little bit of everything. Just cars everywhere. Twin to Linda. Another one of Dylan's cars. Pretty much. That's what it felt like. So you can There's Dylan himself actually. Very cool. All right, we'll just keep on moving around and take you guys on down there to show what's going on. Get back with you here in just a minute. My lord, guys, there are just cars everywhere. There's no end row. I'm going to show you them all. Doing driver's meeting for the road course. But just everywhere. Everywhere. I haven't shown you all many super birds my videos i've seen an entire row of them up here somewhere i'm gonna go to try to find those for you to show you guys some of them i know a few of the viewers want to see those and we're just going to kind of work our way around until the events start i think the drag racing and all that starts at five we go out at seven with linda in the meantime we're just going to kind of bebop around here show you some of the cool stuff there's the survivor tent we're still waiting for them to open some of those cars up. A lot of them are covered. Our track prep guru, Thomas, tells us it's good to go. We'll send Rumble and Street King his first two classes down. All right. Let me see what I can get you into. And you know me. Don't forget to thank the porta potty people. Got a 43 Petty kit car. That's been sitting in here in the survivor's tent. They don't have it opened up yet, though for some of my F-body friends. Bunch of challengers. There's a roadrunner in there. Yeah, got a nice Cuda. Nice Super B Challenger. I mean, they're just everywhere. Another Barracuda. Good looking 300. Not as good a looking as Junkyard Dog, though. Yeah. Good looking Roadrunner up, body. There is literally everything here. Everything. Take you down here, show you all these Wayne cars. Daytona. 
Get you some of this. That's straight 70s right there. Remember doing this with Grandma and Grandpa. This is very cool. Who remembers these? Probably the coolest thing here right now. Camper special. Very cool. Pretty cool guys, we got a few, got a charger over here, a few 10 guild, 10 grill trucks. Check out this van. That's very cool. I think I may have showed this at another event not too long ago, but nevertheless, it's still very cool. Love how they done the spoiler up there. Or the wing, whatever you want to call it. Got a bunch of newer cars. Nice looking Cuda over there. Take you over here, let's look at a couple of these trucks. I'd love to show you guys each and every vehicle I would, but my lord, there's a ton here. Good looking little Red Express. This is very cool. Feel like a ham charger. Well, patina on that. Very cool. Still pretty early here yet. Got a lot of cars still covered up just realized it a while ago there is a time change between my house and here within a couple hours it took to get here which is crazy so it's actually only a little after nine here in the morning swap meet got a little bit of new and a little bit of old good looking Murata sitting right there gentleman's actually parked behind Linda it was a good looking Barracuda Then we got Linda sitting up here for everybody to see any of the subs to the channel at show get a free shirt today and get some stickers and swag stuff surprised I haven't seen a lot of my older vehicles here yet waiting to run into a few good looking Dodge pickup truck I just seen this one here we got for sale check it out real quick Sixty-five Valiant. Love the body styling on these back then. For two hundred. What are you asking for, bud? I'll put it on my YouTube. Seven or best offer. Uh, he's got seven or best offer on it. Clean little car, bud. I appreciate it. Yeah, she's. Uh... You mind if I put your phone number on here? Yeah, sure. Go for it. All right, there's his phone number. Reach out to him about it. All right, let me see what I can get into here. We'll holler back in a little bit. Get you some of this. That is very cool. Man, 
this is crazy. Crazy. Show you this one here is parked beside us. I haven't had time to get it yet. Very cool at a resto mod. Very cool. I like the odd stuff. You guys know that by now. You've watched the channel long enough. I love the odd stuff. Yeah, but they're just piling up everywhere. We're going to go over and do a video on that roller coaster here after a while. And we just watched it. The thing works. I mean, they ran, they ran a, uh, what do you call that, a trolley or whatever through that. Oh, here it comes down now. I actually got someone riding on it. A coaster. That's what they sent down in the coaster. Very cool. Boy, Linda's looking pretty sitting there. Hopefully we can keep her that way tonight. Keep her off the wall. A kiss I could update y'all. Here's our new engine. Sitting in here. Hopefully it makes it through the night and we don't blow this one up. I'm going to see if uh, Blueprint, Eng Blueprint Engines is here. They are. Might see about having them build me an engine or buy one. Because we are going to need something that can, you know, run high up in the RPMs there uh, without damaging the engine. But now, special thanks to Performance Motorsports up there in Maysville, Kentucky. Uh, the owner and builder is Ben Hardy. Y'all make sure to go over to his uh, his page on Facebook and his website. Show him a little bit of love. He's actually going to create a YouTube channel for building engines and uh, things of that nature. Actually, show the machining portion and how it's done try to educate you guys on how to do that if you're interested in it uh, i'll get you that youtube channel or a link down in one of my future videos to uh his youtube channel so keep posted for that but anyway let's get after it let's get to walking around take you guys down and watch some of this autocross or road cross events these are really really cool that's what i wanted to kind of get homer into along with burnouts and drag racing and whatever else but I mean, as you all figured out by now, it's been, what, four years or three years or whatever, and he's still not done, so we'll get to it eventually. They're out here running now, so we're going to take you down here and show you what this is all about.
with Dustin over Dutch Guy's garage is getting into this. This stuff be interesting. Go over and check out his channel. in the 
Yeah, that ain't too bad. Been a 12, 13 second quarter. No, there's no sense that they don't hammer down. That's rotor. showed you all a lot of these cars before but there's the rampage the pickup truck charger they're about every event we go to talking about good eating there's nothing ever better than 
bear or concession food. We love it. Got us some loaded nachos, some pulled pork, all kinds of good stuff. Got race clip in the house today. We'll go over and check him out here in a minute. See if we can take something home. Look at this. Pulled pork, like a ribbon fry with ranch. Pulled pork, got some drinks. Huge, yeah. Check this out. Looking Barracuda. Emmy. Look at this beauty. So McAllister out running. The Challenger with Charger. 1031. 1959 Royal Lancer. It's like having two of Grandma's couch back there. Gotta love that design. The styling. They just don't do that anymore. Cabo, Arkansas. Beautiful car. Not sure who's driving the charger over here on the right side. But we just saw the charger run quicker than the charger. That's beautiful.
Y'all know how I am about the oddity stuff. Check this out. That's cool. That is sharp. Those are two Another old girl here in Opalara. Or Palero, whatever you want to call it. Whatever your flavor is. Just a good old driver. You aren't going to hurt it. You aren't going to scratch the paint. You aren't going to hurt it at all. Very nice. Make a good cop car clone. Where do you want me that? Well, where are you going? There it is here. Very cool. Christine. There are so many cars out here, you, you couldn't see them all in one day. It's just unreal. I mean, unreal. Oh, look at the puppy. Little puppy dog. What are you doing? What? Oh, it is it. All right, guys, let me find something else cool and I'll get right back with you. So best real mullet gets a hundred dollars toward Holly stuff. Oh, okay, and so does uh, the trash. There's like thirty contestants, men, women, real and children out there, and, and they're being and judged on the best mullet. How American is that? And on top of it, oh, and then, they're getting ready to do the Dukes of Hazard jump. The next four from each class. They're setting up the ramp for that. And, and then we're going to video that for everybody. So the top five. So we're going to find out who the mullet champion is, and so then we're going to start recording for the Dukes of Hazard jump. Okay. And we're going to record so all that for you all. It, right? Because I got a beard, so I got a my There's a General Lee the and both police cars up there. All the time. But now I got this one all right, back Hang tight. Too. I'll be back with you in a minute. Does everybody approve? I want to hear you guys scream. Yeah. I want to hear you scream louder than that. He got the signal, here he's coming! Oh ho ho! Here he comes! Looks 
looks like a burnout car because it's got wee little bitty tires on the back. <laughs> All right, the Eddie's East Side Garage, or East Side Auto, Busted Radial Garage. All right, what's your name, where are you from? Chris Mills, Brooksville, Kentucky. All right, Chris, what do you think? I, you got little tires on this thing. Are you prepared to kill it? We're gonna give it a shot. All right, he's got, what's under the hood? 383. 383 and a 727. All right, let's go. Go see Morrison. I think this thing, I think this thing's gonna pop the tires. I do. What do y'all think? I think it's gonna. It's got little tires on it. I think it's gonna smoke them until it pops them. Yeah, I know it's got stickers. You know, dude, little tire is the way to go. This thing is gonna blow the tires off the back of it. 383. 383 angry cubic inches. Look at the smoke, dude. There is no wind, so it just sits above us. Like it's an alien ready to eat us. If one of y'all comes back in the morning with an abduction story, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. All right, the drone circling around. How does the drone guy not get lost in the smoke? Morrison's telling him things like blah, 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 safety, blah, don't leave the square, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody listens. Safety third. people a little did it blow a tire Morrison it looks like it yes oh it's puking fluid it is puking fluid oh and he's out apparently he's worried about the smoke we got a fire extinguisher to make sure there's no fire Give them a big round of applause for apparently lighting some stuff on fire. All right, guys, I got to shoot my outro here at this uh, shell station here in Bowling Green. Uh, once Linda caught fire, it was a little hectic. We had to go through some protocols to get her out of there and get her loaded up. Uh, we had to have fire management and the first responders there the whole time. But she is loaded. And we are getting ready to head three hour trip back home. Uh, I just want to just let you know, Linda is fine. Uh, just had a spark plug boot catch fire. It was laying right up against the header uh, and just ultimately burn it up. Uh, we've got the tires all the way down to the metal again and still didn't get them popped. Uh, we only had one minute and we gave every bit of that man one minute we could. I mashed her plumb to the floor and let her go. Linda performed phenomenal phenomenal i couldn't be more proud of how she did fan interaction today was amazing we met hundreds and hundreds of you people out there today gave away countless shirts stickers hot wheels multiple pictures so on and so forth 
So we want to thank each and every one of you to come out and see us today. That was amazing. We want to thank Halfwit Labs who come out and spent the day with us. Scott and Barn. That was cool. We always enjoy having you guys around. Uh, other than that, we want to thank Holly. We want to thank Holly Mo Party. We want to thank all the first responders, firefighters, firemen, everybody that kept this place running today. All the staff. It was absolutely amazing. It ran flawless. Uh, other than that, we are going to get back home, get this car unloaded, and enjoy our Sunday. I've got hours and hours and hours of footage to edit to get you guys a good video out. And uh, other than that, I appreciate each and every one of you. You know that. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.